now let us discuss about selective repeat protocol it is mainly useful in order to overcome the problem with go back n arq protocol the problem with go back n arq protocol is if a frame is lost then all the frames which are in the window are retransmitted once again whereas if you take selective repeat protocol if a frame is lost then only that lost frame will be selected and it will be repeated that means it will be retransmitted one more time okay so that is the major advantage of the selective uh, repeat protocol uh, here uh, in selective repeat protocol the sender and receiver window size must be the same so that means if the sender window size is 2 then the receiver window size is also 2 likewise if the sender window size is 4 then the receiver window size is also 4 okay uh, let us discuss here about uh, selective repeat protocol with the help of these steps so step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 step 5 step 6 uh, let us see step 1 uh, here sender wants to send uh, 7 frames to the receiver uh, from 0 to the 6th frame uh, here let us assume that window size of the sender is 4 so the receiver window size is also 4 so first sender is sending 4 frames to the receiver from 0 to the 3 so now 0 to 3 is nothing but uh, the current window now ok uh, but it will take some time uh, for the receiver in order to receive those frames here the receiver window size is also 4 ok if you want uh, we can draw the, the same diagram here also ok uh, so this is step 1 so what is step 1 sender is sending 4 frames to the receiver now let us see step 2 let us assume that after some time receiver receives frame 0 so once it receives frame 0 then it provides acknowledgement 0 to the sender so receiver receives frame number 0 so once it receives it providing acknowledgement acknowledgement 0 to the sender okay so the window size is from 0 to 3 only now now uh, now for, for the frame number 0 the acknowledgement is received so we can say that now we can uh, advance the window we can move the window by one position why because here the size of the window is 4 but for the first for the 0th frame the acknowledgement is received so now we can store one more frame here so that's why here sender is sending the next frame to the receiver so what is the next frame after 3 we have 4 so sender is sending for, uh, frame number 4 to the receiver so now the window is from 1 to 4 so what is the size of the window 4 ok after some time let us assume that receiver receives frame number 1 so after it receives frame number 1 it can provides that frame acknowledgement to the sender so this one this one represents uh, receiver is providing acknowledgement 1 to the sender acknowledgement 1 to the sender so here the window is same only from 2 to 5 if we want at the receiver also we can draw the same window ok now let us see the step uh, next step now let us assume that frame number 2 is lost let us assume that this frame number 2 is lost here what will happen is every frame will have a timer sender will wait for the acknowledgement from the receiver for that particular time only if the time period expires if the time period expires then the sender will retransmit that frame once again so here within the particular time uh, sender doesn't receives any acknowledgement from the receiver so what will happen what will happen sender will retransmit the that frame one, one more time so here sender doesn't receives acknowledgement for frame number 2 so that's why sender will retransmit that frame one more time whereas in go back end protocol what will happen the sender will retransmit all the frames which are in the current window one more time even though those frames are already sent so here in the window we have two three four five so already third frame is sent fourth frame is sent fifth frame is sent 
but in go back ARQ what will happen the sender will retransmit all the subsequent frames which are after that frame one more time so 2 3 4 5 frames will be retransmitted one more time whereas in selective repeat uh, protocol what will happen only that last frame will be selected and it will be repeated that means it will be retransmitted once again so here the last frame is second frame so sender will retransmit second frame one more time or here there may be a possibility that uh, sender receives second frame successfully sender receives i am sorry receiver receives receiver receives second frame successfully but it identifies some errors in the second frame it identifies some errors in the second frame so once it identifies errors then the receiver will simply sends negative acknowledgement receiver will simply sends negative acknowledgement n a n a c k 2 so receiver is sending negative acknowledgement for the second frame to the receiver to the sender so receiver is sending negative acknowledgement for the second frame to the sender so once the sender sees that uh, negative acknowledgement for the second frame then it came to know that there are some errors in the second frame so it will retransmit that uh, negative that uh, error frame one more time here the error frame is second frame so that second frame will be retransmitted one more time so this is the major advantage of the selective repeat protocol only that last frame or the frame which has the errors will be retransmitted whereas coming to the go back in protocol what will happen all the frames which are in the window will be retransmitted one more frame one more time so here after the second frame sender sent three frames such as third frame fourth frame and fifth frame but those three frames will also be retransmitted one more time so here we have uh, in two situations we may get the error so what is the first situation let us assume that uh, let us assume that that packet was lost the receiver doesn't receives packet 2 during the transmission second frame is lost so this is the first scenario next to second scenario receiver receives the frame successfully but it, it identifies that there are some errors so once it identifies the error it sends negative acknowledgement to the sender so n a c k 2 to the sender so once the sender receives that negative acknowledgement simply it provide it uh, retransmits that last frame that is second frame one more time so this is about selective repeat uh, protocol